Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a new promo coming on Friday, and that is no surprise, of course, as we've seen the loading screens in the past two days with the World Cup Stories promo and the new World Cup icons that are going to be dropped into the game tomorrow on Friday. What I want to do today is look at this promo, what we know about it so far. We've got the car design now added into the game, um, and we do have some packs that have been added into the code as well. So I know we're still a day away, but I want to look at this promo a bit and some of the leaks um, because we had some new ones dropped yesterday on the game. And is this just another promo, kind of like some pack filler with just random promo cards and packs? That's what we're going to talk about a little bit today. And then, of course, we had to look at the World Cup icons because, yes, there are some ones teased on the loading screen, but we actually know who some of those cards are because they're searchable on the market right now, right? That middle card, you obviously know it's Eto, right? But that's the Eto dynamic image. And uh, I want to take a look through some of that information today in this video as well as take a look at the market. It was another pretty slow day yesterday with a lot of card prices just either rising slightly even more or staying pretty stagnant. And a lot of your path to glory cards having more fluctuations and most of them just going up in price with all the craziness that went on yesterday with the final group stage games for those respective groups with more of that coming today i want to take a look at the market and what kind of content we could see today on thursday so if you're excited for it hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new let's look at this promo right we saw the loading screen we saw the car design that is in game just really quickly i want to scroll through the leaks that we have you guys have I've seen these we've showed them on the videos before but this promo now consists of cards like virgil van dyke uh, we have a Marcus Rashford that has been leaked as a part of this promo. We have a Sané that has been leaked. We have a Laporte card. And the most recent leak that we have is Marco Asensio, a striker position change card. Very interesting. Another Spanish player, of course. We have Laporte and Asensio in here. Um, and that's a solid looking card. Probably won't be that expensive, right? Marco Asensio cards are always Pretty cheap in terms of promo cards, if you kind of remember those. Uh, so that's the latest leak. I'm sure we're going to have more, right? We're getting closer and closer to the promo Friday, of course. So we're going to have some leaks start to speed up here, I imagine, today on Thursday. Also, an arcade foot leak was Di Maria. So those are all the leaked cards that we have right now. And if you take and think about uh, a lot of these players that have been leaked... I mean, some of these guys have pretty interesting stories, right? Laporte being French, changing his nationality to Spain. Uh, you know, there's a story in that or maybe a story for Sané, maybe a story for Rashford, like from Rashford's, you know, last World Cup to this one, how he's been scoring bangers this World Cup. I don't even know what EA is trying to do with these World Cup stories. It almost just feels like they're going to drop some promo cards in the game, write up some cool stories about them, and it's just going to be... Uh, promo with cards in packs. Now, I hope it's different than that. I hope there's some sort of aspect to these cards that is different somehow. I really hope that we get some skill move and weak foot upgrades because, I mean, think about it. It is that time of the year where skill move and weak foot upgrades should be begin to be a little bit more common. If you think about, remember, last year at the beginning of December, which, by the way, happy 1st of December, um, we had the fire versus ice promo, which wasn't entirely weak foot skill move based. And remember last year, that was a very disappointing promo, but we had a decent amount of upgrades in that area on those cards. So hopefully that's part of this World Cup Stories promo, especially you take a look at like that Sané card or maybe the Marcus Asensio to make them a bit more usable. Some skill move or weak foot upgrades will be very nice. So, I mean, from a face value, it just looks like it might be another promo with some special cards and packs. EA trying to sell some packs, but hopefully there are some changes to that. Now, speaking of packs, I want to take a look at some of the packs that have been added to the code. Some pretty random ones and then also others that we'll probably see this weekend. First one's a Robin Van Persie uh, guaranteed loan card. Interesting. Small 85 plus star player pack. That sounds to me like a lightning round pack. Um, and by the way, we've seen lightning rounds now. Get ready to see them every single weekend. I would be surprised if EA, this is the, the same schedule that they always do, right? Last weekend with Black Friday, we had all the lightning rounds. We had 50, 100, 125s, and then like the, all the star player packs and stuff like that. Expect lightning rounds again throughout this weekend for this promo. Uh, a new kind of like store pack in here, a large rare players combo pack, 18 gold rare players and a draft token. I don't think we have had any draft token SBCs or draft token packs like added to the code at all this year. And if they're going to start pushing draft at this time of the year, then they better juice up the rewards and make draft somewhat usable. Because I have heard draft talked about the least in any FIFA that draft has ever been in this year. Like I have heard literally nobody 
talking about foot draft. So um, I don't know if they're going to try to push us to play foot draft or what it is, but that pack is added to the code and some other World Cup players pack. So nothing super crazy there from the pack side of things. But yeah, really this World Cup stories promo as we now have the car design added here into the uh, search filter on the, the market. It just to me seems like another promo. So I hope we're surprised. I hope there's something cool that comes out with this. Um, and, and, you know, just something more than, hey, there's some more cards that are in packs. Now, of course, we know about the World Cup icons. And I want to show you that loading screen once again, because it's kind of a secret. But I mean, actually, it's not because we know all the World Cup icons that are going to be dropped on this game. Because like I said, you can go and search them in the transfer market uh, on the right over there. I believe that is either um, Lineker or Shevchenko. We have Eto in the middle. And I think this card right here is either uh, Cafu. No, yes, Cafu or Roberto Carlos. And I really think it's Roberto Carlos. Now, we don't know the exact stats of these cards that are in the game, right? But we know that Shevchenko and Lineker are both 90 rated strikers, right? We know, of course, that the Cameroon flag in the middle, of course, would be Eto. And then 91 defense and 85 physical seems a slight upgrade from Roberto Carlos's 88 rated car. So that's our guess on the loading screen. Now, again, I do want to say as wow, the this market is incredibly slow right now, by the way. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but like if I go and search somebody on the market, I'm sure you have. We talked about this yesterday on stream. You go and search in the market, which this is being so slow. What is going on, man? Anyways, Christian Romero, we go search. He's rising up a price on our right. I still go 190, right? I'll search him on the market and then I'll click circle to go out of my search and boom, it's reset. So EA messed something up with the market in the patch that they did and released yesterday. So hopefully they're on that and fixing it. But back to the icons, we have this website. I'll put it down below in the description. This is a list of all the World Cup icons uh, in a list. Now, the stats are not 100% confirmed in here, right? Because if you take a look at the Bobby Moore that they have, they show 72 pace. Well, actually, Bobby Moore's World Cup icon has 80 pace. So just the cards that you haven't seen in packs are going to be the ones uh, that are in packs this weekend. So you've got a Garincha card coming into packs. You've got a Mateus, a Baggio, a Cafu, Carlos Puyol, Dog Leash, uh, Stoichkov, Cannavaro, Eto, Roberto Carlos, Blanc, Shevchenko, uh, Lineker, Haji, and I think that's all of them. So it seems to be like team one of the World Cup icons was maybe a little bit more hype in elite. Uh, I feel like there's more like of a middle tier in this team two of the World Cup icons. Team one was very top heavy. Zidane, R9, Cruyff, Eusebio, some really, really big cards that are in there. This next team feels like there's a lot of cards that are probably going to be between like 300 to a million coins instead of being multiple billion coins plus. So that's something to kind of recognize and watch for. But also, if you've been saving your 35 swaps tokens, um, you know, your World Cup icon player pick, which I was recommending that some of you guys do. I think it was a smart move. Um, why did they? Re this game is all messed up right now in the menus. What is going on? This is so weird. Um, I don't know why these are all sorted in a weird way, but anyways, um, if you were saving your World Cup Icon player pick, these cards are going to be out tomorrow. You'll finally be able to get them uh, through this World Cup Icon player pick and not only Team 1 because I have not seen any of the Team 2 cards in those player picks, uh, of course, since those cards are not actually out in the game yet. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Those are all the cards that we should expect to see this weekend. The World Cup stories, the new World Cup icons, and that really might be, and I wouldn't expect too much else other than that. Now, that's kind of what's coming on Friday, right? We'll probably get more information through leaks today. Watch Foot Sheriff on Twitter. Watch all those guys posting about stuff because I'm sure that we will get some information. But let's talk about the market, right? And we can't talk about the market right now without mentioning PTG cards once again. One of the craziest rides ever in price yesterday for the Lozano PTG card because of the absolute madness that went down with those World Cup games, right? Lozano right now is actually back up a little bit. He was 119K during the game, spiked to about 160. I bought a Lozano at 130, sold it at 168 after one of, of Mexico's offside goals was ruled out. But of course, Mexico did not progress on the tournament, so his card died after a couple hours after the game. He went down to about 85K. He is now back up to 94. This happens all the time with these cards. Personally, this card is insanely meta, links very good, and if you have a Serie A team, this guy or a Kone are your top two choices as a right wing. I think this guy will hold a decent value. I do think, though, that today on Thursday, what you'll see is this Lozano card probably 
Um, go back down a little bit as people continue panic selling. This is what often happens with these cards. They reach a low point after the panic selling hits a peak. They bounce back up for a few hours in the late night. And then, of course, as people wake up today and continue selling their Zanos or whatever it may be, I think this guy might have another dip and then rise later after that. So watch this card today. Might be able to trade with that one. But it is, of course, no longer live. And some of your other PTG cards from yesterday, um, they just keep going up, right? Nabry, right? We've got some big games coming up today for some of these players. Nabry is going up. Griezmann is up like an extra 100K. I think this is just based off of rarity. And also, people are noticing what games these guys have, what matchups they have as they're kind of uh, stamping their ticket for the knockout rounds, I think um, if I'm not if I'm if I'm remembering correctly, I believe France plays Poland uh, in the knockouts game one. So of course people think, wow, okay, Griezmann's going to get that plus uh, one upgrade for that game because that's going to be an easy win, right? So there's no easy wins in the World Cup, but you get what I'm saying. Milik's card is going up, of course, um, just because, you know, he's still live and he's not knocked out of the tournament. But that's why Griezmann and that's why Romero and um, Alejandro Gomez keep going up is because these guys have easier matchups. Argentina is going to play Australia, I believe. So this Romero card, normally they go down after the game, right? Well, Romero just kind of stayed at his high price around 190K because people went out and just continue to buy this card up because they're like, okay, he's going to get another upgrade. So as the market is very quiet right now and as prices just continue to creep up, it almost feels like the same situation that we had a couple weeks ago when we were at the same point where the content was just very dry. It was quiet. We knew Black Friday was coming, but these World Cup cards were hype and everybody was just buying them again. We're getting to that same point. What a graph, right? 140 to 220, down to 120. And now we're probably going to push 200K plus on this Romero card pretty soon so if you are holding ptgs w because they're probably just going to keep going up of course if it's a team that is in the tournament again just be careful with the cards that are not live anymore or that are risking their chances of being alive wow and cuckoo is about to go extinct at two million coins that's crazy we need some price range updates uh, on these guys as well so you know of course the safe route for all these is to sell in the hype of the game but then of course if the team wins then you usually see a nice uh, rise afterwards so it's just depending on how much risk that you want to undergo uh, for the games that we have today I'm, I'm forgetting them right now to be completely honest we have got Costa Rica Germany Japan Spain Canada Morocco and Croatia Belgium so some really really big matchups today and a lot of groups that are very very close where it's going to come down to, yeah, Japan and Costa Rica today, and, and Germany specifically, are they going to be able to beat Costa Rica, as you would think they would be able to, leapfrog themselves into second place, uh, or even first place, depending on how Japan can play. So there's a lot of big games today, a lot of big games, a lot of hype for these PTG cards, so just keep an eye out for those. Remember to sell on the hype if you don't want to incur any more risk, and... Um, have fun with them, man. And hopefully these upgrades are coming on Friday night. So we should be pretty close for the next set of upgrades for these cards as well. Pulisic is rising up nicely now, finally, um, after being low yesterday, up to 90K. So the ones that I bought of Pulisic, he's continuing to rise nicely into the weekend. We like to see that. And then for the rest of the market today, after rewards, right, it's a rivals rewards day. Um, I'm not expecting too much of a big increase in prices on the market. Again, maybe some of your best of Team of the Week cards will go up a bit more. Maybe some of your promo cards after a bit of supply today could go up some. Now, the one thing I'll talk about with a market movement today could be SBC fodder, specifically 84s. Guys, take a look at 84s. We got a tradable pack supply SBC yesterday. These guys are down right 84 is peaked yesterday at content and they are now going down afterwards they are down in the low 4k range i right now don't have a lot of coins but i think if you're on a lower budget or if you just want to find somewhere to trade today people are going to get their rivals rewards they're going to go out they're going to finish off some sbcs i think today with rewards would be a fantastic time actually to pick up some 84s on a low bid price or a low snipe price like right now 84s are what 4.2k it might be a really good opportunity right now to head out to the market during rewards today. Try to pick a few of these up, stock your transfer list, and this might be the best place on the market to trade because 84s could very easily go back up to 5K as they were yesterday and the day before as people are going to get their rewards today, go out and finish SBCs, right? We saw it on Monday. Hafada rose very nicely for the SBC 
NFTs that were out then. I think it's going to happen today. So whether people are going to finish Kovacic, Trossard, Schweinsteiger, or of course, more popular, uh, the more popular gamble packs like a year in review or a mid or base icon or the the hero upgrade pack. I think people are going to need their rewards today to get coins, to get fodder to go out. And I think you will see fodder go up because of that. So watch your 83s, watch your 84s, especially if you're on a low budget and if you're awake during Rivals Rewards, people still take tradable packs. So I think you'll see a slight rise there. And then for the rest of the market, you know, some of your, I like the lower tier stuff. I really do. I like, that's kind of the stuff that moves the most on rewards days is people go get their rewards. They go out and they buy cards. So, you know, I would, I would definitely check the market unless it's this slow. I mean, if it's this low, then it's going to be an absolute pain to buy cards today. But, you know, some of these meta golds, you know, like Salah at 79,000 coins, he was like 86 yesterday morning. You know, that's the kind of stuff that I look out for. Maybe a Furlan Mendy, maybe a Kyle Walker. Those like under a uh, 100,000 coin players would be something that I think could rise up today that people may be buying for their teams. Watch out of packs cards. There will be opportunities to fluctuation trade on the market today. I'm just not expecting there to be a ton of crazy deals and a ton of crazy movements just on those small fine margins. But if you if you trade with those lower players, lower price players on lower tax, then you should be able to make some profits there. So also today on Thursday, content wise, like we mentioned, definitely marquee matchups. That's a mainstay. The World Cup marquee matchups. Um, a lot of people were asking me and yesterday, like, hey, Nate, are England going to be featured again? I doubt that EA would feature uh, like double feature a nation. So of course we had Argentina, Mexico, Spain, Germany, France, Denmark. So I'm not entirely sure what EA is going to do with the marquee matchups because as of right now, only a couple of our knockout gate uh, knockout stage games are actually set uh, because we know the, uh, the first couple, like we know France, Poland, we know England, Senegal, we know Netherlands, USA. I could see um, I don't even know there's almost going to have to be some duplicates. That's the only thing because of course, we're whittling down the number of teams that are inside um, of the potential window for the World Cup marquee, marquee matchup. So there actually might be some duplicates this week, but we'll just have to see which ones EA pick and choose because not all of the knockout stage games are set yet. We're waiting for more games today and more games tomorrow before that would happen. So besides that content today, probably a loading screen, maybe telling us a bit more information about what is going to be going on with the promo tomorrow. And other than that, I don't expect a ton of movement on the market. I would say that with rivals rewards and with marquee matchups, I think that if you're going to try to flip those 84s or try to make some, some coins on this side of the market today, I would try to be pretty fast in that uh, and get those cards out before the 6 p.m. content today with marquee matchups because I do believe um, that marquee matchups would drop the market a bit with some supply. So be careful out there today on the market, but there shouldn't be too many things to be scared about. It should be a pretty chill day in my opinion. And yeah, I mean, seriously, guys, the content continues to be a little bit slow. We had the Walker Zimmerman SBC yesterday and then like a tradable pack supply SBC. But for most people, that's a bit of an L. I might try to get this Kovacic done if I get enough packs from rewards. 82 rated squad is so easy and then an 84 you know, with a couple cards from rewards, maybe is doable as well. It just looks like it could be a really good card if Croatia were able to go ahead uh, and win that game. So very interesting day. World, World Cup games on tap again. That's the excitement um, and probably another bit of a slow day on the market. I've still got some cards. Uh, I've got a Mane at the moment. I've got a Sun and I have a Carlos Alberto that I'm trying to flip, right? Some of the flips yesterday uh, were, you know, decent. I did buy this, like I said, at 130, sold it at 168. Just not a ton going on. So we're trying to get these flips in and out. I'm not in a hurry to sell them because I do feel like their prices will be able to bounce back enough where I can take some profit. And then I'm kind of stuck on these Aldisaris. And then I do have, uh, I think it's three Pulisic. Uh, I lazy sold one. So that's kind of the state of my account, but we're going to hopefully make some more coins today and hopefully get some more information about World Cup stories that'll be coming tomorrow. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.